All right, well, Florida's new state attorney is reinstating a policy that disproportionately targets black bike riders. The so-called biking while black policy led to an investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice. Florida State Attorney Susan Lopez reinstated the policy that ticketed bike riders who did not follow the rules of the road. The decision came after a study found 70 percent of the people who received tickets for restricting, resisting, excuse me, without violence happened after a pedestrian or bike stop involved a black person. The previous state attorney who Re Governor Ron DeSantis implemented got fired and got rid of the policy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so this is a, this this problem right here. I didn't understand it. I had to do a deep dive into yes. this because basically what is happening in this part of Florida is that uh, black bike riders are being targeted so much. Uh, they're receiving 70 percent of the tickets uh, for riding their bicycles. For, for rules that may or may not be lawful, I don't know. But they're receiving more tickets than white people. And what's happening is, so when they go to try and get their driver's license, they cannot get their driver's license. And so the state attorney that was previously in office, he started noticing this and he was like, listen, we're gonna back up off this a little bit, right? And so Ron DeSantis, Governor Ron DeSantis, he fired him because of that. He implemented someone. He put someone else in place that would continue this practice. It's so bad that the DOJ is involved because clearly uh, they are targeting uh, black bicyc mm. bicyclists. So it's biking while black. It's a mm. whole thing wow. in this town. I'm really happy that this town decided to do this because it's a loophole, honestly. Yeah. Because you, when, you, when you're a bike rider and you don't really need to have your driver's license, you probably think, hey, you know, I'm not going to lose my driver's license capabilities being a bike rider but it's such on to um on on their side not our side not yeah. the biking while black to their end it's a smart loophole to say hey we're going to pull you over but ultimately this affects your driving capabilities it's, it's really it's really genius and I'm, I'm really happy that the biking while black community came together to fight this because i mean hey we need our driver's license we need our license to be able because then we then you can't drive if you don't have a driver's license yeah. then you can't drive and so you can't bike while you can't bike or you can't drive but i really just want to commend the bike riding community honestly around the nation because bike riding is so dangerous. It is such, it, I, I'm terrified about driving in the street. And I feel like I would be one of those people that get a, a ticket because I want to keep my bike on the sidewalk. I know yeah. in Chicago, you can't ride your bike on the sidewalk. I would be one of those people yeah. that get ticketed. Yeah, sure. you know, I didn't really understand the bike riding community until Ja'Cory, yes. who's one of our producers. Mm -hmm. He's an avid bike rider. Mm -hmm. um, and just seeing him, watching his Instagram and seeing how this is really a thing and how um, they were targeting this particular mm -hmm. group of people uh, I understand now I understand mm -hmm. better and you're right so you know if they can get you on riding your bike then they can keep you from driving a car mm -hmm. it just becomes a vicious cycle downward spiral yeah. absolutely